Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Speedy Fight Theory. Today we're going to be going over the sports world, but in a new light. You see, we have a question for everybody. Why does everybody care about sports so much? And there's also going to be a lot of things we're going to go over in this episode. We're going to be over going over the sports themselves, the communities, and also the fans and the players themselves. <laughs> Now, before you ask, as much as I do look like it, I am not an athlete. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe. Nor am I some guy who just sits at his desk, oh, what the Discord open for six, 67 years. We don't do that here. You see, I'm actually a very productive individual. But I still think that the whole world cares a little bit too much about a bunch of guys or your rolls or whatever, hurling balls at each other. Killick draws back the pass. He's airing it out. It's going to be long. No! And, uh, and also, why I think people uh, get a little uh, a little too intimate with the name of sports, you know? Hey, yo, what the f Now, before we actually go into all the sports and stuff about the fans and the players, we actually got to go over how each sports, does, each sports work. Now I'm just gonna go and oversimplify them all, but if you wanna see a good video on how they actually how they actually work with more detail, there's gonna be a video either right there or right there by another YouTuber that you guys can go watch and get informed on if you care about that. Soccer is when you have two teams of X amount of people uh, kicking kicking a ball at 87 miles per hour, either at you, the camera, or the goal. Now, whoever makes it into the goal wins. And if you, or you could use a car to smack it into the goal for the same reason. All right. So basketball is a sport where the guy from Space Jam. Oh wait, I mean guys from Space Jam, like LeBroom Javanese from the fighting game Multiverses, and also Fortnite for some reason. Here's, how, here's a clip of how basketball mainly works. No, I have two seconds. It's in, and that's the game. No, we don't fucking clap for ties! Alright, so, football is a game where you get a brown egg-shaped ball and you hurl at people and try to get into yellow poles, and it's mostly just this. You can see the extension there. Yeah, the, they basically just interminably do that until they eventually either score a touchdown or whatever. To be fair though, it does have a pretty great, good theme song for it. It's pretty cool. But other than that, it's kind of just fighting each other. Mike Daniels is there first. Spins him around. Sniping each other. Get together. Whoa! It's mostly just a people attacking each other for a egg. Football gets super intense sometimes as well, where like it's like the first play and there's or in the announcer himself is like, Ooh. I'm not even exaggerating. Look at this clip. Killick draws back the pass. He's airing it out. It's gonna be long. No! No! This was another thing I forgot to add about football. Before we move on to the next section. For some reason, you have to work out a stupendous amount just to be able to play. I'm I'm obviously obviously it's most likely just for the uh, you know the tackling and stuff, but I don't think you need to be going do, and doing stuff like this. Just to throw an egg at people and attack them. Now, this one is pretty much just either rich people or people who have nothing else better to do with polo shirts on, yeeting balls at each other with metal rackets and 
um, moaning, screaming. I don't know, this is just a goofy sport in general. Funny in Wii Sports, though. Beach balls! You're whipping a fucking beach ball! Now this one is pretty much, or is already classified as just the, either the rich, the dude, or the retired old bastard's favorite sport. As you just... I need, uh, at least two. Right there. No! That is not a clapping shot! Hope it goes into hole. Pretty much it. You also can do it in Wii Sports as well. Baseball. Catch with extra steps. Y yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you summarize it. It's just catch with extra steps. It's just catch with extra steps. There's, there's nothing else special to it. Now, boxing. I under completely understand the hype around this one because it's pretty much just beating up somebody for clout. And there's also pep rallies. There's also pep rallies for that as well. We'll look more on the pep rallies for that later. But you know, it's also kind of just like a school fight, but televised, and people actually know what they're doing. And also without the shit camera angles that that one dude is always having for some reason. And also, Alfonso hit the guy. Hit the fucking dude. Ah! No teachers trying to go stop it. It's kind of just like, all right, we're okay with this. All right, now this one is a bit like goofy since it's now it's a newer sport. So, esports. This is basically watching the greasy, sweaty bastards that don't leave their setup play Fortnite for 17 hours or just do this. And then if you win, you win either big trophy or you win Fortnite skin or you win both. Like this dude did for Fortnite. Or you can see not as sweaty people play the most sweat inducing on the audience out of how intense it is match of Super! That was very intense. Obviously, any any sport can be intense at times, but like this is the esports are just like more intense than any other sport. That and also because uh, they rage a lot. <laughs> now you see. You've seen this, if you've been a part of my, if you've been following my channel for a bit, you know about this uh, life in high school video that we've made, that I've made with the boy, with the fellas last year, where we went over a pep rally. 
Now you see, that is something that schools love doing, and it's supposed to get us to be excited and hyped for the football games and etc. Right? Except it's only the football games. They don't care about anything else, and it's pretty much just one-sided for football for some reason. But most of the time, as you can see, pretty much the whole school is pretty much forced to be there for no good reason and is forced to sit in the most uncomfortable bleachers in the entire fucking world like they're made out of plastic you know how uncomfortable plastic is to sit on for that long and it's not even smooth plastic either it's just it's just most of the time there's just wow cool song dude singing for some reason funny look at the funny guys look at the funny there's there's nothing else there's nothing else there there's literally the most uninteresting thing you could ever go to unless you actually like that which is totally in the question is all obviously in the question you can also be very very excited about it and actually have the intended purpose of these things but like the way i find these this is just very boring they're, they're just boring and they don't have anything that induces the audience other than that but like as you can see there's also this there there was a pap rally this 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 year where everybody was just forced to be at the where they actually didn't care and it was in the morning and we just filmed the video that was it that whole video was just we filmed it we just filmed the video in the cafeteria because uh, one Ethan, hey, you, want some, you want some free ice no no and no 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 enzo i'm fine enzo and two nobody cares <sighs> so there's also some another type of pep rally that i forgot to mention for a second there's also uh, there's also pep rallies for boxing with the most popular ones being the ones with youtubers in them which is probably why they make they do them with the uh, the one i can think of the most top of the top of my head is logan paul versus ksi where logan paul famously says yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't understand why either, but like, sh sure, I guess, whatever sells tickets. Now, these people are either just, either super chill, or they make it their, make the sport their entire fucking personality, and just... And, you know, like the prime example of this is the is the uh, very standard high school jock who does who is completely brain dead to anything that isn't sports related. That is just sad. If you just don't have any other life outside of sports, it's just sad. It, it, there's lots of things you could do, like get a job, YouTube, play games. It's just really sad that you, that's your only personality trait is your sport. But there's also sometimes where people take it too far. Well, these players take it way too damn far. And they go off and flip off the damn crowd. Like, this guy was actually so salty that he had decided it was a great idea to flip off the damn crowd. Some, some players in the sports like Dwayne The Rock Johnson who was a WWE wrestler and Tom, Thomas Cruz, who was a baseball or uh, whatever player, he uh, they they become movie actors and they just uh, they just exist there. Now they're Hollywood actors instead of that. They're recognized by their sport, obviously, but now they're mo mostly known for their Hollywood work instead of their sport. So this is not even, it's not even just the players at this point that, that, that give their whole life away to the sports. It's also the fans who have never even picked up a football or soccer ball or in their lives, but they still like it as a form of entertainment so much that they feel like the ran, this ran, it's like the random dude at the bar you're probably watching the, watching the football game or soccer game at thinks that he could probably do a better job than the coach so his team wouldn't be losing. 
it would that be true i don't know he probably like i probably is drunk but so it's weird too because they make the fans sometimes take it so far that like this bomb right here make it their entire room the walls are uh, in this room specifically too like the, this the wall is the Miami Dolphins. His shirt is the Miami Dolphins. His hat is the Miami Dolphins. I'm pretty sure he has a tattoo with the f***ing Dolphins too, which will actually do that, which is really weird. Like I understand getting merch for stuff. It's like the same thing as me getting Halo merch, but still, they, these guys take it so far to go ahead and make their entire like living space the damn sport. Why would you do that? Is there like nothing else that interests you? Is there nothing else that you could do with your life, like that could you could represent in your living space? Because if not, that's just really sad. Cool. I mean, you have achievements. Put that up there. But if you have never played the damn sport in your entire life, and like an actual game, and won something for it, you shouldn't be doing that. There's also the people, some people who just take this way too far and like start treating like the the players themselves. As like celebrities, like for example, like the the entirety of the Super Bowl last year was or this year I'd say was full to the rim, not because of the halftime show or anything. That was simply because Taylor Swift was there and all of her fucking fans were there too. That was the whole reason why why it was like packed and stuff was because Taylor Swift would be there. It's the same thing with I Show Speed too, because he would take. Chris Ronaldo, right, and he just like acts like he's he's his fucking husband or something. Here we go! Ronaldo! Ah, bro. And some people do the same thing with Messi and everything, cause like there's a whole like debate and stuff about whoever is better, Messi or Ronaldo. I personally don't care enough to actually make a good assumption, but still, Messi better, bro. <laughs> You know what? You know what? Let me call my f He is gonna have some great insight about this, so it's also not just my opinion and research. You have another cited thing. You're uh you're on the you're on the camera, pa. So I need I needed to ask you a thing, pa. What's up, buddy? So why why do sports interest you, pa? Why does sports interest me? Yes, bro. Why do you care about sports, bro? Well, is this entertainment for the for the most part? It's entertainment, and then it's just something I enjoy, just like a computer program. I like taking apart and putting together new components in the computer. It's something to watch. I enjoy it. It's where I can relax, but I can live through them. I guess you could say in terms of how they're doing and all that it gives you something to cheer for instead of just being bored and sitting around doing nothing that's the main thing and you do it for long enough it just kind of sticks with you and just yeah. something that you appreciate so pa do you think mm -hmm. some people care way too much about sports pa absolutely yeah they they invest their whole livelihood in it and their heart mind and soul and they get so attached and it's kind of like an addiction, kind of like a person that just can't put down weed or cigarettes or an alcoholic. It's kind of like if they're not watching sports or doing something with sports, they can't stand it and they have no reason to live. I mean, I've seen friends of mine, especially in high school and college, that when the NFL football season and college football season was over, oh, my God, it was like their their heart got ripped out or something and they were moping around and everything and then. All of a sudden, it's the end of the summer, and you start hearing about preseason football and the rankings for college, and all of a sudden, boom, they spring back into action, and they're friendly again. And it's just, yeah, I'm not that level. I just enjoy it for the sake of something to watch. There's a lot of times that football or even the Yankees are playing, and I'm like, eh, okay. I'll see if they won later. It's not a big deal right now. I don't really want to watch it. So, yeah. I'm not invested in it like a lot of people are. Okay, so that's what went today. What today's video is by. I know that you see those parents that are like beating up the refs at the pee wee football and the little league baseball games and stuff. Now, those people, I honestly think, played in high school or even college, and they never made it to that oh uber level of 
going into the pros or whatever because they hurt themselves doing something dumb or what have you or just wasn't talented enough to do it and so they're pushing their kids and so they got so much emotion because it's their child doing it that they go way overboard and it's just unnatural and unnecessary with this uh, with those enlightening words and other second perspective you guys can now understand why people care way too much about sports and either you should make the esports team like esports and all the other sports equally the same like make pep rallies for everything or just don't at all if you're not gonna respect one you're not gonna don't respect any of the other ones i don't care how big the one sport or the other is just make everything equal it just should be like that it should be like if if you're gonna pay five million dollars for a football field in like for some area you're going and if you're in this especially if you're a school district you are also going to spend that same amount of money and resources keep in mind the resources too to go in and go and fund like technology for example because technology is bigger nowadays than it was before you, in these things you know you know this this wasn't cheap Nothing about this, nothing, none of this is cheap, especially the new iPhone 16 and stuff, which is also another video I'm probably going to make say later, but still, there is, there is literally, basically, no reason to care so much about the sports, there's other things in life other than sports, I don't care if it's a form, you, you can love it as a form of entertainment, but don't make it your entire personality or anything, find something else to invest your time in that isn't just sports. Because if you just only like sports in your free time, you are a very sad individual. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!